Okay, so all these segments, what we'll do is we'll just start adding uh, it more properly. So wherever it is required. So if I just uh, remove this now. Now if I just want to add some more segments over here and here only you just want a smooth surface. So if you want to add some kind of smoothness to this, uh, we can just add it over here. Okay, so you need more segments for making it smooth and more resolution is required for this to make that. So if I can just go for this mesh tool and if I just click on this retopologize, so it will add more segments for that. Okay, so we have this even if I press 3 now, uh, it will be fine. So you can just see this now or here. Now right click, assign new material, Lambert. And we have Okay, so whatever this edge is there, now you can just select this whole edge, shift right click and you can just make it circularize to make it more nice circular shape. Huh. So this is not for gaming, no? so we can, this is like a stylized, so stylized environment will have more segments for it. So now we'll just, for gaming you can see that for environment, like for production we don't see. And it should be looking nice and smooth over here. So now I'll just extrude that. Extrude edge. And let's start extruding. Press W, push it back. And from here only I'll just start adding it. Now if I just press 3 on my keyboard, it will be nice and smooth. And you need to add some segment over here. So inside edge group tool, press 1. Let's start adding some segments here. And here also I feel that I need to add. So we need to see the loop now. So whenever I am just adding some kind of loop, it is going somewhere else over here. So we can just use some kind of cut tool. So go to this, multi-cut. So here also I want some segments. We can just start adding like this. So just want to... Which one? Uh, because the loop is going in a different direction now. So let's see this. Because some of the loop is different direction and this is in different direction. So backspace, click on this. I'm just adding one loop over here. Right click, press enter. Now we have this. So whatever the tries are there, you can just select this edge, shift right click. And here you have collapse. So wherever you are seeing that. So here also G. G is a shortcut for that. So again select this G. Which one? Huh. Huh, you can circularize if you want. Which one? For production, it is not proper. For gaming, it is fine. But for production, we should avoid that, uh, keeping that price there. For movie, we can go for Amazon. No. Amazon, neither in movie, neither in games. Only quads and tries. 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 You can do the animation, but you have to make sure that once you have done, you have to do something called clean up. That is the last stage what you have to do. Once you finish the modeling, you have to do the clean up for that. And then you have to send for this. Now if I just press 3, now it is fine and smooth. You can just see that circle is nice and smooth. And this is what we want. I will just enable this occlusion to say that. Okay, so let's give some color for that. So material attribute, you already have the color, so you can just pick from here itself some color. And incandescence little I increase and we have the same. So for all this, let's have the same color right now. So right click, right click, assign existing material. And this is what? Lambert 2. So I just use the same thing over here just to check that according to this environment. Okay, so now we have the same uh, thing, and here 
we have something which is inside some ring is there and there is window so that we will create now and inside there is glass also so we need to create that glass as well so press 1 let's start adding something over here itself so inside edge group tools see this I will just separate that out so control s keep saving the file if sometimes it might crash shift right click so this object I want separate so we can extract that or we can just have a duplicate uh, option over here so if I just go for duplicate paces duplicate paste it will create a duplicate copy of it and we have it and edit delete all by type history so for this so whenever you you feel that it is getting slow in DOM so you can just delete the history from that and we have this whole face so press R scale it and then you extrude that so extrude face now you can it's faster so from the same thing Now let's add some segments for this. So inside edge group tool, start adding groups here. Okay, so it's fine. In this side as well. And if I just press three now, that is nice and smooth. There are and we just want something which is inside this now so we can just add some kind of plane or circular shape over here so let's select this edge now same edge I can just also extrude that over here so we can just use that same plane shift right click extrude edge and start extruding it over here so from the same thing if you want that uh, thing and you will be just separating that out so you can just separate that out over here okay so that is one thing which you can use it so control z or let's use something which is cylindrical shape and let's close that out it will already have that over here so just which one ah, we can just extrude that also press e j and if you just want separate a piece over that, so I can just keep that cylindrical shape here. We just want this cylindrical shape, so let's go to this view. Select this, scale it out. Just fix it here. And all these things we don't need, so I can just delete this off. And we already have this. Okay, so go to the vertex, shift right click, chamfer vertex. Huh? Okay, triangle. <laughs> okay, I already saved that file. Did it collapse or chamfer? Something gone wrong. Hmm? Some error. This is where I saved. So there is some file which is saved in the temp folder I think I can just load that so till here it is saved
Next time, first time when it loads. Okay, so we have this still here, whatever we have done. Just save as now. Let me just save as underscore zero one. Let's delete the history again. So, whatever this I have done, delete history. So, it will become faster. So there will be a lot of history. Sometimes it will become very slow. Uh, no, no, there will be a lot of details, history over there. So you can remove that. And now if, if you feel that the mess is too heavy and you want to remove some of this, uh, want to delete, you can also delete that. So all these things, whatever you feel that there are a lot of segments, you can always remove that. So press 3. Now we have this one, control S. Now let's start adding that same thing over there. Okay, so let's take from there, shift double click. Now let's have shift right click. Just have a duplicate or let's extrude this itself. So extrude this whole thing. Push it down. Okay. Press 1. Now start adding the segments whatever is required. So shift right click, insert edge loop tool. Start adding the loops. And here it is extra piece, I think. So this is extra. Delete. No need that. So it will be fine. So press 3 and press it over here. Okay, so if you just keep it separate, it will be easy for texturing. So if it is like same thing, now you have to make sure that you unwrap it properly for that. So if I am just keeping it as a separate element, so this element will be separate, this element will be separate and you can just always use that. So I will just extract pieces and this is separate, this is separate. So press 3, press 3 and both the things will be at the same. Okay. So now from here only, so if you just want to have from here only save, keep saving the file and just give some face uh, from here and I can just select this face, shift right click, duplicate face, so this is separate and now I can just select this edge, shift right click, extrude edge, press R, scale it down. Again, press G, R, scale this. And if you just want to fill, shift right click, fill over. Now you can just connect the segments over here, so it can, whatever. Okay? Ah, collapse, but again it will be tries or something. So if you want to solve that, you can just use this multi cut tool, start adding the segments like this. Which one? Right click. Shift right click, you will get that all the options there. Edges, faces. Now just start adding it over here. So this is how you can just start making it. So everywhere it is squared now. Okay, so at this faces you don't require delete. I just need only this, so that will be the center. And go to modify, center pivot. Yeah. Just start adding it in the center of that. So this is where this window will be. Press 3, 3, 3. So that is fine. Okay, so now here also, so some of this uh, wooden piece are required. So I'll just use some kind of Polygon, so press 4 and we'll just use this cylindrical, just use the cube over here. So, for making the windows over there, let's start adding that one. So, press R, let's scale it down. Very thin windows.
and for that also we need to give a little bit of bevel for that so make sure that it is here go to vertex select this just give bevel so bevel it just one segment that's fine so even if I just give 3 for that, that is also fine. Now you can just rotate, press E, Ctrl D, and go to Modify, Center Pivot, and let's rotate J and rotate it, so you can just rotate properly, snapping. And let's assign the same material, so existing material, Lambert, and we have this. So, yeah, so we just have this transparency for that. So if you want to apply some new material, let's apply new Lambert and inside this material attribute and here we have transparency. So I'll just reduce little bit of transparency for that glass. Okay, so we'll be applying Arnold material for that for now just to check that over here. So you can just see this. This is that which is going out. So this is fine. Because you are not anyway, if you just want to adjust this also can still extrude that out so if you just want extrude this just pull that out so this is fine so anyway we are not seeing from outside so this this is what we have okay so save the file and we have all the <coughs> elements for that now we just need to work on this detailing of this so what all details we left so let's start working on that we need to add some segments also, assign existing number, just press 1, insert edge loop tool, start adding one segment and we just need to extrude that from the same place, extrude that out, and press 3 and just start adding the more loops over here, so insert edge loop tool, press 1. Start adding the loops here as press 3. Okay, so we'll just start adding all these details now what is required over here. So for the base also, so we'll just start adding all these details over here. So here also we have some of this shape, and again there is one more shape over here which is making that. We also have this small. things which is over here. This is broomstick and this is what something. Okay. So we have all these details so let's start adding that here. Now this has to extrude out, go down and again you have this, this is the shape which is still is something which you cannot, okay. There's some mat or something which is over here. You can't see that. Huh? So you can just add something over there which you can Okay, so for this part, let's add one. Inside edge loop tool, let's select this one and let's start extruding that out. So select all the faces, shift and double clicks. And let's start extruding that. So shift right click, extrude face, and let's start extruding this out later. whatever the shape is there and we need to start adding more loops there so inside edge loop tool start adding some segments in this place this place and press 3 to check that this is how it is ok so for the wall uh, whatever this uh, shapes are there so you need to model that and whatever the grounds are also there so you can just have a duplicate copies of this wooden uh, thing if you want to make so you can just have all this tiles right so there is some kind of tiles which is made over here so either you can do with the texture or you can just model it so if you just want to model uh, you can just model that over here alternate so here there are some different uh, things so once I made this two 
you can just have a duplicate copies of that. So let's have even for the base. Let's have this one. Press one. And we have this whole segment on here. So I can just select this whole pieces. Or you just want to add a separate thing. Uh, you can also add a separate elements over there from the same thing you want to extrude. You can also extrude from the same thing. We already have the tiles, uh, but you need to make it straight over here. So press R. Let's scale this to make it straight. So this is fine. Okay, so from here only you just want the tiles also. Uh, I can just select all these faces over here from the same, uh, you can just have the tiles also. So same size, if it is little bit of bigger size, you can just change it. But if it is the same size, I can just use the same uh, things and duplicate it. So you can just have a same copy of the tile. So select this face. I can just have same thing. So let's have. Just make this line proper. I don't want this line to be flat like this. And then we have this. So select the whole face now. Okay, and let's uh, duplicate that. So shift right click, duplicate face. You just want separate uh, face for that. And control. So we have two objects, this one and this one. Okay, so same thing I can just extrude now. Uh, so because when I'm pressing three over here, it will change. So that's why we have even this surface. If I press 3, it will match to that and I just need to extrude that out. So select all the faces now. Shift right click face. Select everything. And extrude. So shift right click extrude face. Let's bring this out. Little more. And the same thing I can just duplicate down also and wherever I see this uh, curve, so just start adding loops there. Just start adding in this place as well, so straight, make it down. And this place also if you want to make it sharp, you can just use this insert edge loop tool. Press 1, and just start adding one loop there. Press 3. Okay, so same thing. Uh, go to modify, center pivot again, and just duplicate the same thing. Control D, bring it down. You are touching the ground full. Okay, so I'll just keep that over there. So the thickness of that we can just change it. Uh, now I can just select all the faces and I have to push it inside. So that is up to you. Now what I want it over here is this. So you can just select add some segment over there and I can just extract that. So from the same thing, you can just select this all this insert edge loop tool add one loop. And I have this whole edge. Okay, so press, I can isolate this, so we can just go to this, isolate, and let's work only on this uh, part, so this is that center of this, so let's select this one, and let's deselect this base, so control, and drag it. Okay, so if you want a little bit of thickness for that, you can select this whole faces. So like this, shift and double click and select this, 
and from bottom face you don't require any of this face so control and deselect this face so i just want only this uh, faces only top faces now what you can do is you can just uh, duplicate that shift right click duplicate face just want this one. and this we don't require so i can just hide now you can just see so we have this is what i need uh, for this shape over here okay so this you want to extrude select all the faces and let's extrude this up and i think there is some of this face which is selected over here so we don't require this extra face what is over here okay so this face we don't require just delete this also we don't require just delete this faces let's select this whole thing let's check that till where we want this okay. so we already have all this segments over here so we can just delete or see this whatever this part you don't require you can just delete now See top and bottom is already there, so I can just delete. I don't require this also. This shift and duplicate, uh, shift and uh, double click on this, delete, delete, and we already. And if I just go for end isolate, we already have this as a separate now. Okay, so from this only, if you just want to extract that. Uh, so you can just add the number of segments over here and I can just extract the tiles from here itself So shift right click insert edge loop tool and increase the number of Multiple edges over here. So how many you want suppose if I want six seven or eight Just check so you don't want eight. Let's reduce this to five yeah, This looks nice So everywhere it will it will be there. Okay, so now I can just select all the faces and let's do this. Select all these faces and start adjusting this style. So shift right click, extrude face, and we have this option. So when you go for extrude face, so here we have an option keep face together or separate. So I want it separate. Now I can just scale this down. And again, if you just want to extrude that out, press G again and pull it out little. It will have that tile sort. So all the tiles, and now we can just select everything of all edge. Control A. Let's select everything. And little bevel you give for this. So if I just make shift right click bevel edge, little bit. It takes time. And little fraction. It takes time a lot. Hmm. So the mesh is becoming little more now as it goes. Or we can just have a duplicate copies of that and instance of this. So this is fine. So press 3. If I just press 3 also, it will be fine. So once you give the bevel, it will be fine. So we have all this option. And let's delete the history. So I need to delete all by type history. For all the objects, let's start deleting the history. So we don't want that. Now it is fine. Let's see this with the amend occlusion over here. Okay, let's see. Okay, so for the floor also, you can just have separate uh, mesh instead of having so much mesh over here. So I can just use some uh, box or cube itself. Let's use some kind of cube. I'll just divide that tiles into multiple pieces. So go for mesh, polygon, cube. So let's make that itself. So go to the top view, press 4. And we're starting at adding that out. 
Now how much we will need the tiling? Just R. Go to the vertex, start fixing it over. So I guess all the pieces I just want separate separate and this is too high so make it small. So go to object, press R, scale it down just when where you want thin. So this is for the floor you want and I just want little bit of two of this for here. So press 1 and if there is some problem over here we can just see from the top view and we can just try doing that. If I just press 3 I think it will be fine because it is fine. Now we have this tile so go to the vertex start pushing it back and let's use this and how much you want you can just go to the vertex select all this now start suppose this much I want for that and you can divide this also into multiple uh, different tiles so I can just have the same thing control D and divisions I'll just change for both of this so for this let's have some division so insert edge loop tool so I just want around 3 for this this is fine 3 for this as well and let's start shifting the position of this so one more I'll just add for this so if I want to see the shading a wireframe on shaded so you can go to this wireframe on shaded so you can just see that how this uh, edges are coming now I want here exactly in the center and here one more segment I can add it for this so insert edge loop tool add one more shift right click insert edge loop tool so just one just add it here now we have this solve this okay so both the things you can just want to duplicate so let's isolate that and I'll just adjust the scale of this or you want to add some kind of insert over there so you can just add some kind of insert which will go inside this uh, pieces so you can just start adding some loop insert edge loop tool this time I just want only one and we don't want multiple edges let's add this over here or let's devel that so instead of doing all this so all the three select shift right click bevel so you can adjust the fraction distance little bit down so 0 0.05 and one more segment I just want to add it in between Okay, so whatever this segments are there now you can just select and just uh, want to extrude inside or you want to scale it. You can just also do that. So if you just extrude edge and you want to push it inside, uh, you can also do it or you want to scale. Let's scale this. Just want a little bit of change over there. Okay, so let's select this faces. little extrude up just to get the depth of that little height so you can just see so this is fine so you can just see that one for this also select all this edge so the same thing will be just adding bevel for that and little height you just want to adjust bevel edge one more segment and this you just want 0 0.02 now let's select this faces and extrude that up so I can just give a little bevel for this so all the things yes, sir. Okay, 
little bit use this pen shift right click bevel and press 3 if I just press 3 on my keyboard 3 over here also so I just have now press uh, end isolate you just need to have a duplicate copies of that all the places sorry so if you feel that it is too high just make it thin just bring it down and let's bring it much closer over here so very less distance Control D, move it out and press Shift D. So when I press Shift D, it will duplicate the same copies of that. It is fine. So this we don't require, delete this off. This we can cut it till that point only. It is fine. Then I have this. Yes. So go to shading, wireframe on shaded. I just have that over here. Okay, so how you want that uh, tiles to be, you can just uh, do that. So select everything, existing number two. Just have this. So material, I can change it later. So all this material, but tiling and all these things. So you can just also have separate separate pieces and arrange it. If you want to arrange or if you want from the same mesh, you can just have that for it. So save the file. And let's start modeling any other pieces over here. So this one, this is on the top and the curtains also I just need to make it along the path I can use and we also have this pieces which is over here. Okay, so let's start doing that. Okay, so top will be fine. Let's pick this object. Okay, so this is little, I can push it little this side. So we found some space over there. go to the camera now press 4 let's see this so, just bring it. so I think yeah this looks fine and this is what the height of that is over here so we can just start adjusting this uh, face so I can just select the same face from here and I can just pull it out I'll just adjust that from here so go to the perspective again So that should be a little bigger uh, over here. So you can just start. Yeah, Taurus we can use or box also you can use. But I'll just use the same shape what we have it over here. So just press 1. We already have the shape. So I'll just start adjusting the same shape. From here. So try to duplicate the same thing. So. Okay, so the same thing I can just pull for the top also. So shift right click. Duplicate face, just move it up to here. And just click it out and let's go to the vertex, go to the top view. And I can just change it all here also. So hold shift, left click, and you can just hold here as well. So let's make this, this W, push it up. This one. Just want to make it little more rounded over here. This is what I can. So this should be much bigger than that. So let's start adjusting it. Little oval shape is fine, but not too much. This is fine. Okay, so select this now and extrude this whole face. So just double click and I just want to extrude that over here. So shift right click, extrude face, this W, bring it up. Now go to the perspective. So we have all this. Sorry. Okay, so if I just press 3 on my keyboard, press 3. 
so it will be nice and rounded shape over here so I just need to adjust little bit more same place and let's add some segments for this press 5 3 for this as well okay so now we have this shape over here so whatever the display you can just go and you have this reverse so you can just go and change that now start adding some segments so insert edge loop tool insert edge loop tool press 1 so I just need over here I don't want on the edges I just need something rounded shape from here press 3 and from the same shape what I can do is I can just use the cut and uh, from the same over here so you can just select the face now I can select this edge and extrude so I'll just use this edges and I'll just extract it later so shift right click extrude edge pull this down just have till here so later I'll just change the shape of that and select all these faces and extract it so shift right click extract so this is separate and this is separate now you add whatever the segments you want for this as well just reverse, reverse this. okay so we'll be adding multiple uh, materials like two sided materials but let's fix this so till that point it is fine and you just add, want to add some kind of wrinkles over there so you can just add some wrinkles but uh, you need more number of segments for this okay so to add the bend and all this so you can just isolate now and let's add a lot of segments for this so press 1 and here we need some segments here we need some segments so press 3 so add some loop okay. so you can just add it or uh, here also so mesh if I just go for retopologies and you can just directly add so much segments okay so or you want to add individually you can add it individually but if you want like that you can just use it from this okay so just keep it less and shift right click insert edge loop tool use multiple edge loops I just want around four four all the sides okay so if you want some kind of bend or here so you might require here as well so you can just have that now just press 3 and you can just start adding this loops so double click go to the top view then you can just start adjusting the shape of that little more rounded you don't need any kind of sharp shapes over there perspective is fine, top view just start adding ok so which is the shape has to go down and there is little gap on the top so I'll just leave some gap on the top for that uh, separate shapes Select this, bring it down, and this is what we have. Okay, so now we need to adjust this uh, shapes, so which goes inside randomly. Is it? Hmm. This one. This is. This is one. This is not separate. Huh? Which one? Huh? You can you select the faces and you give random. But if you want particularly this way only, some has to come. Then you can use this. So you can just select that faces and apply that uh, deformer or I just want it to have the little bit of shape like this uh, it is coming out and also I'll just 
using that manually. So some is overlapping on the top. So that's why you just use that. So select this whole shape and I can just move it a little wide. In the top part, uh, you can avoid it. So select this one. Just start doing this. So alternate, you can just start pushing and uh, pulling this out. And I don't want everything to be overlapping like this. So here also, so if you want to add some more segments, so I add insert edge loop tool, add one more segment. And we can get however the shape I want for this. So insert edge loop tool, reset, and let's start adding one more. Think why it's not coming. I can add that one. Start pulling this, pulling this out. So manual way and uh, I can bend this also. So I just select this surface, press B. So B for soft selection and holding B you can adjust this shape. So you want this to be little out and this to be little tight inside this. Which one? Uh, scale, how it will go. So I, I'm just using the move tool. So if you just want to scale, so it will go in this all the direction. So if you just want in particular direction, uh, then you can just move that out. Yes. So now let's have this more. Uh, see, depending on B, again, let's start adjusting this. Push it more inside. So it will keep less number of uh, segments or here when you have started adding like this. So if you want more uh, waves or something and now if you want to add some kind of deformer, you can just add it. So if you just go to deform, now go for non-linear deformer and you want something like sine or wave, you can just apply sine. Okay, so rotate this. And here we have different attributes. So first is amplitude. So how it should be. And this is the wavelength. So how much you want. So if I reduce that, it will reduce the amount of wavelength. Now you can change the direction of this. So how you want this to be. So amplitude is too much. So 0 0.02. 0 0.05. So little variations which you can give for this object, you can just start adding. But manual way, you have more control. So wherever you need feel that it has to go inside now, start pulling that, start adding more segments. So instead of this, this will uh, not give the proper control for that. And we'll just add some kind of displacement map or bump map also for this. So that's, you can just still work on this. Curtain. Yeah, we can have so uh, there is sculpting tool. Uh, so same like what you have inside ZBrush here also have the sculpting tool, but it should be smooth. So go to mesh, and here we can just smooth that whole object. So now once it is smooth, now we can just go and sculpt that. So if I just want to sculpt this thing on this, so you just go to this tool. So here you can just see that mesh. Mesh tools, and if I just go for sculpting uh, here, and we have the sculpting tool. So, same thing you can do. So, if you just want to adjust the sculpt tool, click on the sculpt, and now I can just sculpt this out. So, press B, increase, 
I think it's too big. Size of this. B is a shortcut for increasing or decreasing the size of the brush. M is a shortcut for strength. If I hold M and move the cursor towards right, left, so it's too much strength. Yeah, so it is reducing now. So M, by holding M and left mouse click, you have to reduce this strength. And now we can just start sculpting uh, it over here. So we reduce more the size of this and then we just have this. So you want to push it. I have this option. Just hold. You can just start pulling this up. Which one? Hold control. Okay. So you have different options. So it should be little much smoother. Uh, this object to get that effect over here so now it is two right so control a go for this and here we have this poly smooth divisions I increase and then you have this option for scrub so we also have the grab and all this uh, different tools also so making use of this different tools you can just use it but sculpting this first tool you have the size You just start adding that. So if you just want it over here. So strength is also there. So if I just press M, I just need to reduce the strength, and then you can just have. So start adding that. Hmm? So just start adding this. So this. So here you want to push it inside. Hold Control and just start pushing it in. Hold control to push inside. Now start pulling this up. Control push inside. So just give that random uh, things. So how that uh, cloth will go inside, how it has to come out. So just start sculpting it out. You start adding so here if you just want to take time for it. So just giving that folds uh, wherever it is required starting. You also have the grab tool. Uh, using the grab tool, you can pull that out. So, just sculpting this. So, you also have this grab. So, if you want to pull that out, you can just select this and then start pulling this. Out. Press B, increase the size of this. And here, so here, if you just feel that it is, it has to be more down. So, you can just start adding that. And here, wherever it is hanging, uh, at that also, at some place, it has to go down. So B, reduce the size of this, and then start. Just check that where it, wherever that things are there, it goes up, down. So just give some variations using this grab tool. So here you feel that it has to push inside. Push it. Start pulling that. We'll have that over here. Okay. So this is how we can just have that uh, thing. So if it is much smooth, we can have that thing effect over here. So this is going too much outside. So let's bring that inside now. want this to go too much. We we'll just have this from this point. 
Okay, so same thing you just want on the other side. Uh, you can just duplicate it and I can just delete some of this part of that. So that we can just do control D and go for scale minus one. So I get on the other side as well. And some of this I don't require in this place. So I can just delete that faces. So go to the top view. Top is four. I can just select this curtain, which is not required. And just start deleting that. So go to the faces, press B. Switch off this soft selection. I just want to delete this whole part. I just want only till that. So let's delete this whole part. And I just clean it up uh, by doing the isolate. Go to the perspective and just check that. So this you need to clean it out. So select this whole faces, delete, delete, and we need to make sure that we adjust this according to that scene. And isolate. Now we have this shape, which is out here. Go to the top view. Then this has to match with this thing. So we can just start adjusting that for you. This thing. Five, six. So you have this also out there. And then. Okay. The top part of that uh, uh, thing you can extrude from that itself. Or you just want to have two separate, separate pieces. And you want to push it inside that. So you can create this separately. And we can just add it. So a lot of copies you can just add along the path also. So how you want to add that. But this also should be a little more thick so that it goes inside that. Okay, so this thickness and that thickness. Now to create this shape, you just need to have one polygon which is uh, going up. So let's go for perspective. Go from here. Right, so we'll go for this edge now. The top edge, select this whole edge. I don't need anything to be selected down. So press 4. Hold control and deselect all this. Okay, so sh press R and let's scale this up. Just want to make it a little flat and later I'll just adjust that. here so some of the shapes it is not selected we select only this part so let's select only this part and just scale now let's add scale it this w push it up and this is fine Okay, so how do I create from the same shape? Uh, if I just want to select some of this polygon over here and I just want to make the curve also, along the curve also you can just do, but some thickness I just want to give for this. So select everything, shift right click, extrude face, keep faces on and just give little thickness for this. So object press 5. So some thickness uh, is required otherwise it will be too thin. Okay, so now we have this. Now if I just select this face itself, so select this face. And that can be divided into two pieces over here. So that I'll just show now. So let's select this face. Four of this. Shift right click, again duplicate face, separate that out. Just have this now. Now we have this face which will be connecting over there. So you can just extrude now. So like this edges. And what we want it on here is we just want one more segment uh, to be added over here. So insert edge loop tool one segment. And we just need to extrude this part out. So select the face now. 
Let's start extruding on this. Let's uh, isolate both of this object. Okay, so let's isolate both the things. Spacebar, control spacebar. So I can just see this object now. And what will happen for this? So extrude. So select this face. And let's start extruding that. Extrude face. Let's pull this up. See how many segments we want. We can just start adding it over here. So divisions. You can adjust it. Push it up. So this can go over here. And again from this, you can just start extruding again on this side. Extrude face again. Pull this up. And start connect. So I'll add more segments for it to make it more rounded. Let's fix this first. Because we just need that to be connected over here. So again one more extrude face. Pull this up. And we can bridge between this uh, two faces over here. I guess I think there is something wrong with this face which I extruded. Because I have increased the division in the later state. Let's see this. So there is something, uh, some problem with this over here. So when I am extruding. So let's check that. So this is fine. Extrude face. Let's bring this up. This is fine. So select from this. Extrude up. Pull it up. Bring it over here. You just want to rotate, you can just rotate. Okay, so you can bridge between these two faces now. So if you want to bridge it, right? So I can just select this face. And if I just select this faces and shift right click, we also have this uh, tool called bridge faces. So if you just want to bridge it, uh, so this, you can just see that tool setting. I think uh, some of the faces is not selected. Let's see. Let's extrude this one more time. And let's try to bridge between these two faces. Okay, so later we can modify that. And let's see. So anything, if it is extra, something is selected, it will be a problem. So select that properly. Bridge. And we can just have this number of segment divisions, how much you want, and for this also. Okay, so you can just add more divisions for that. Insert edge loop tool, start adding more divisions for this also. This also, that's three. Now we can just uh, adjust the position of that. So go to the vertex, start adjusting. And whatever these edges are there, so that we can just sculpt it. So select this, push it down. You don't need that shapes, and we just need to make it sharp now. So press one. Let's have this. So something is wrong. Okay, we have to just check that. Torus also you can do it, but again uh, it has to get that proper shape. No, it is not rounded shape, right? So it is this shape. Cylinder also you can use. Why torus? So cylinder you use an extrude. Okay, so this uh, okay, just use this. So I'm just using from the same, or if you want to use from the same shape uh, here also, press one, and just use from the same shape. Anyway, it is rounded. So select this edge loop. Just start adding that over here. Select the faces. You just have a duplicate copy of that. And then you just start delete this face. And then you connect to that uh, curtain. So that is what you need. So this is also fine. So extrude now, extrude edge. 
press W, bring that down, scale it according to that. And uh, end isolate and just check to that only. So it should be touching this and if you want to merge with that also, you can just try adding the more segments to that and you can just start merging with this. You can select both of the things, isolate and depending on how many segments are there. So if you want, uh, it has to go in the same way. You can add that many number of segments and snap this vertex to that. So this is up to you. So you can just add a lot of segments over here. So how many is required? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 segments, you just start adding. And vertex, you snap it. To the below one. So go to the vertex, now go to shading, wireframe on shaded and I can just start snapping it. So accurately you want, press V and then start snapping. Press V, W, V, start snapping. So you get that uh, properly on the shape. So press V, W, V, snap, W, And then here also. So just select this. This V. Snap. And later I can just increase the thickness of that. So you can just go for it. Now class. You can just finish this first. Now you can just uh, select this. Little round it. And little thickness I can just give for this. Inside. It shall be with this itself. And press 3. So it will be over here. And what are the segments? So insert is group 2. Yes, sir. Done. Okay, fine. So save this. And just assign existing. I think reverse the faces. Uh, let's reverse the face. Yes. And shading. Wireframe on shading, and we have it. Okay. So end isolate, and we have this everything on the top. So that everything we can just make it separate, separate shapes, and then you can just use that. So it will blend with that. So you will not see any problem. Okay, so start to do Alan? Alan? Sleeping? Anag? Yes. Atar? Avi Vikram? Ayush? Yes. Daniel? Debarge? Devdat? Druva? Divya, Gaurav, Indol, Kumar, Madhu, Manikonda, Manish, Mayank, Pratham, Rajamurgan, Pritham, Simodhika, Sipranjali, Tejaswaru, Vyom, Manikant, Vincent, Okay, so, so.